guys, today we are doing a little bit of a different video. It's going to be part of a series that we're going to bring out about moving to Canada, particularly from Australia, from our own experience. So as you've seen in the title, it is five reasons to move to Canada for a winter working holiday. So let's get into reason number one. and these aren't in any particular order or anything, is having no experiences. I think that's a pretty obvious one, but moving to Canada, we have had so many experiences that we just would never have had living, particularly in Perth, Australia. So things like job roles that we certainly never would have thought we would have had. I wouldn't have thought I'd be working on an ice rink in Australia. So. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not. Uh, even just seeing snow, like we just will never see snow in Perth. And the amount of snow that we have seen here is just an experience that we'll have with us forever. It's so. an experience on its own for sure. Yeah. But this year is the best year they've had for snow in the last 10 years. So that just goes to show how much snow we have actually seen. Yeah. And even just things like going and seeing ice hockey games, whether they're like local ones or like NHL. You know, just things that you just don't get to do at home, you know, no experiences that are just out there to be had. One of the reasons. Reason number two. We get to meet new people, the group of friends and people that we have met in the short time that we've been over here. There is a lot of people that I'd say would be lifelong friends that you might not see for a fair bit of time, but when you do, it'll be like last week that you've seen them. So. You have a different connection with people because you're with each other for so much, for such intense periods of time, yeah. like you really form those connections. And it's people in the same mindset and travel set mm -hmm. as you. They've left home, they've left their jobs, whatever. They want to travel and see around and see the world. And yeah, yeah very like-minded people. You get so comfortable at home, it's so easy to just not meet new people and yeah this is definitely something that really encourages you to have like a new outlook on meeting people and just like an outlook on people and life in general, in general. general. Yeah. yeah so that was reason number two reason number three Probably one of the main reasons to come to Canada is because of the most incredible snow that you'll experience. I mean, I can only speak for what we've seen in Canada, but with that beautiful snow comes the amazing winter activities that you can do. Like I've really, really enjoyed um, the snowshoeing experiences that we've had. And even just like the winter walks that we've been out doing, exploring yeah. like, you know, winter wonderlands and even like Christmas time with the snow. There's just awesome activities that come with doing a working holiday in winter in Canada. And then on top of that, you've got like the, obviously the snow sports, so the boarding and the skiing. Going out with your friends that you've met and going out boarding for the day and having fun and egging each other on to do stupid stuff and then finishing up after riding with like a nice feed or a nice warm drink or something like that is a really, really good way to enjoy your days when you're not working yeah that's exactly it like and that's a great thing like if you're doing like a working holiday and you're living and working on a mountain or like near the mountain it's really cool to be able to have that balance of yeah. finishing work or before you go to work being able to like go out and enjoy these activities you're not just like waking up going to an office job or whatever it's not a nine classic to five. Nine to five. Yeah, yeah 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 and it doesn't matter how good you are at these things if you're going out and trying it you're enjoying the outdoors at the exact same time. You're not sitting inside, you're not just staying inside and being at home and you're getting out. Yeah, yeah. You're enjoying new things and you're trying and learning new things. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and obviously there's the risk of like injury and stuff. <laughs> Whatever, you've done your ankle as well. <laughs> but you know, those like risks outweigh the fun that you take away from yeah. doing these activities and the memories that you're gonna have and the experiences that you're gonna have with the people that you've met. So definitely one of the main reasons is the awesome stuff that you get to do. And the risks at the end of the day, you can walk down the street and get hit by a bus. So really, <laughs> why not try it? Very true, this is very true. On to number four. Working while traveling is number four. You can't really beat getting paid, essentially, to travel. You travel halfway across the world and you go on a holiday, you save up for years and years to be able to travel around and see everything you want to see. Mm -hmm. Why not come on a work on holiday and get paid while you're traveling around especially coming somewhere like Canada which from Australia is a so intense million miles away. Yeah. <laughs> like when we came to Canada I think we left Perth at like 
oh, I think it was like 6 a.m. Perth time or something, and we arrived in Canada at 6 a.m. Canadian time on the same, same day. day. Like it was just an insane amount of travel. So to get here is just crazy. So it's great that you could just literally spend so much time here exploring, and then you have the off season to travel as well. Like, yeah. yeah, you got time to top the bank account up a little bit, and then go and travel for the off months in between. For us, this lifestyle is perfect. We've got Walter. We can work for a few months at a time, travel around, explore, see new scenery, see new places, meet new people, mm -hmm. and then go back to work and top up the bank top account up the bank again and again. get ready to go and do it all over again. Yeah. As opposed to being at home, standard jobs, go working, on a two -week trip. busting our freckle, going on a two week trip, mm -hmm. and then saving up for the next holiday. This is a far better yeah. way of doing it. Yeah, especially while you can, you know, if you've got the opportunity to do it and you can do it, just do it. Which kind of brings us to our point number five. So the last point and probably our real number one point is that you can always make more money but you cannot get time back at the end of the day. Like you have this visa or the opportunity to get this visa until you're 35 so you've got that much time to just get out and do it. We can always go home and make more money but we're never going to get these years back where we're debt free, no kids, no house, you know. like You don't want to be living a life full of what ifs. Yeah, that's just exactly Just go and it. do it. Yeah. You don't do it for the money, like our combined income for the last financial year was less than what I made as a teacher in a year, but hey, the amount of experiences that we've had offsetting that money, like I think it's a loss that, you know, is a gain at the end of the day, if that makes sense. So. Yeah, it's not even, it doesn't even equate, but the time we've spent with each other, mm -hmm. the places we've seen with each other, mm -hmm. the activities we've done and the people we've met far outweighs money money so. yeah yeah we've got our whole life to make that back you know at the moment we can be broke get down to two dollars in our bank account and still be smiling broke at the end of the day smile. yeah <laughs> it's very rude I'm trying to do our nice heart to heart here and and on that note i could be there <laughs> but instead we're here which is much better yes <laughs> All right, guys, well, we hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you're someone that is watching this and you are thinking, should you, shouldn't you come and do a winter working holiday in Canada? Just do it. Just do it. All right, and also, if you haven't done so already, click subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you get told every time that we release a video. And we will see you guys next video. Next one. Bye.